I'm Allie Grayman, the founder of The Grayman Method. I am one of the original coaches to help people fully recover from OCD, and after years of experience and thousands of clients, my message to you is still the same. You can fully recover from OCD. On this channel, I show you how. But before we start, I just wanted to remind you that I do daily OCD recovery videos, and if you don't want to miss one, hit the subscribe button now. Let's talk about the purpose of on-purpose exposures. In traditional literature, when we talk about on-purpose exposures, we talk about exposing yourself to something you fear in order to eventually habituate to it. That is a losing battle because what happens is then your brain is going to get a new thought within the same theme and it can come up with billions of them. So what are you going to do? Do on-purpose exposures for everything? I mean, you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life. Keeping with the idea that OCD is chronic, of course. If you do brain surgery with an axe, it will turn out bad. There is no cure. It's not the brain, it's the axe, right? So same thing here. On-purpose exposures done with an intent to habituate is a losing, never-ending battle. Why should you do, though, on-purpose exposures? What is a good idea? To, when is a good idea to do it? When you are avoiding. If you are avoiding things that are normal specifically for you, we're not talking about other people. Everybody's life is different. But if normally you would do certain things, you would say certain words, you would touch certain objects, you would talk about certain topics, you would go to certain places, but you are not doing them, that's avoidance behavior. To stop avoidance behavior, little by little, we need to do on purpose exposures to get yourself into your personal normalcy, okay? So the one thing about this, though, is don't bite more than you can chew. You want to do this in small, doable steps. Your anxiety should not be skyrocketing because if your anxiety skyrockets, what's going to happen is you're going to get overwhelmed and end up in rumination, compulsions, and you're going to get so scared that you're going to avoid this situation probably even more. So on-purpose exposures need to be done in doable, edible chunks, you understand? Don't take on too much, don't be a hero, it will backfire, okay? But little by little, see where you are avoiding and start to chip away at it. Every day, do a few little things. And then also at the same time, make sure you're not adding avoidances elsewhere. Because our goal is to get rid of all of the avoidances. So that is the true purpose of on-purpose exposures. Exposing to everything under the sun, going to extreme exposures is unnecessary and harmful. If you're whoever, whatever their uh, name title is, if they are doing uh, on-purpose exposures that are extreme with you, get up and walk away. They don't know what they are doing and they can cause you more harm than good. Don't be afraid to say no to a medical professional. Don't be afraid to voice your opinion. That's very important. It doesn't have to, if an exposure goes against your religion, goes against your morality, goes against what you feel in your heart is right, don't do the exposure. Only do, again, what I said, in little doable chunks to get yourself to your personal normalcy. I hope you find this video helpful. If you would like to book an emergency session for today, I will leave the link below. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you tomorrow.